Hi, my name is Glenn, and I am an Associate Director of Talent Development. And we used to use WhatsApp, but now we use Teams. And for more reviews like this, click below. So initially, we started out with WhatsApp, and we used WhatsApp as our main communication uh, platform to really link all of our teams together. So it we had different teams in Puerto Rico, in Texas, in California, in Hawaii, in Las Vegas. And WhatsApp was our primary way to communicate. Uh, we graduated from that and went to Microsoft Teams. And Microsoft Teams obviously allows you to do a little bit more, actually a lot more, I would say, uh, than just communicating on a communications platform. So it allows us to send different files, reports, and uh, we use Excel, we use PowerPoint, and among other things that Microsoft offers. And so we're, we're uh, all synced on Microsoft Teams now as our primary communications platform. So Microsoft Teams is definitely best um, for communication, number one. It keeps everybody together, and you can see different um, channels. They call them channels, and also different chats, right? Um, I think the channels are super helpful because it keeps project management all together. So, for example, I'm involved in um, our attrition, right, our yearly attrition. And so we've created a Teams channel on the attrition and different HR reports that not everybody else is shared with, but as a project management group, we all get these reports and we all collaborate on this specific channel. And so it keeps it very helpful because the notifications come up and um, you know that alerts us to either respond or you know um, join into the conversation. Um, a big enhancement with Teams as well is allowing us to video conference. And we use it also for training. Um, it's, a, it's obviously our primary tool for all virtual training that we do. And I, I like the function of uh, syncing the calendar with the people that are invited and they just have to obviously join and we can make it a virtual classroom setting. So WhatsApp was definitely best for communication. Um, it was a way for us to uh, communicate with different teams and it was just a communications platform. So we, you know, you added different phone numbers in there um, with the different groups of people. And I think it was super helpful because, um, you know, we did have some overseas people that in the past, obviously, before we had WhatsApp, we weren't able to communicate with them other than email. Um, so it allowed us to communicate directly uh, when they were in office and uh, when they needed something from us or vice versa. Uh, but it was strictly that. I mean, you could also set up a video call, uh, but very rarely did we use that. Um, and I think there were some other functionalities, but really the, the main purpose of WhatsApp was really just as a group message to kind of drive performance and, and allow us to communicate amongst uh, different people. Yeah, so getting started with WhatsApp was really easy. You just download the app and you put your phone number, and then from there you're either invited to a group or you start your own group. So really easy to start up. Uh, if you're looking for a communications platform that's really like plug and play, it's free. You don't have to pay anything, and you can you know you have everybody else that you want to um, join in. WhatsApp's a great way. Uh, with Microsoft Teams, it was a little bit more. Obviously, you need a Microsoft login. There is a free version. We have a paid license version of Microsoft 365, and so our accounts gives us more access to what Teams can offer. Um, a business like ours. So obviously um, you have the whole Microsoft suite. So like PowerPoint, Excel, you have different things like SharePoint, um, you have um, uh, Outlook uh, for email integration. And there's obviously, you know, you have video conferencing, all those things that you can take advantage of. But um, it's a little bit more involved because like I said, you do need a login and there is some small training that is involved um, with using the platform itself. So I think if you're considering a software that can link up together all of your team members in your organization, but at the same time allow you guys to um, do video conferencing all together when needed, and you're gonna share files like you know different um, reports or documents within the group, uh, Microsoft Teams is a great option. Um, I would say it's it's probably one of the, the best options that you could probably look at in terms of uh, not only communications platform, but the whole entire Microsoft suite that you get with it. It's in, you know, um, it's a solution that you would look at for your entire business, not just as a communications platform. So if you're looking for more than just communicating with people via text, you know, or sometimes call, um, uh, Microsoft Teams is definitely something you want to look into.